Look for them to stay compact and keep everything in front of them. Western Mass needs to be very good and very sound defensively to get a clean sheet and let your special players express themselves higher up the field. And with that, we are just about set to go. It is Stern Briem who is our official tonight. And Ricky, I know you don't love the cold, <laughs> but it is cold here tonight in Ludlow, Massachusetts. Temperatures 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Wind gusts up to 30 miles an hour. It feels like 20 degrees. Now I know in the past we have seen some cold games in Omaha. I remember back to that semifinal at the end of last year. It was a cold day. The final that they played against Greenville in 2021, also pretty cold. They're no strangers to it, but tonight coming on the road, It'll just add into the madness of the Open Cup. As a personal preference, I do not like the cold, but it's also <laughs> the wind that it's going to play a factor, right? How do you read the flight of the ball? So keep an eye out for the two back lines because you don't want to take any chances when you're playing out of the back. We'll see how the wind affects things. And talking with coaches, they say the wind is probably the hardest weather condition to play in. But we are ready to go here tonight from Ludlow, Massachusetts. There's the whistle, and away we go. It's the Union Omaha side coming off. Really a tremendous 2023 regular season. Another year winning the Shield. In their first four years of existence, finishing second, first, fifth, and first. The only team in USL League One history with multiple Shields. Not one of the original clubs. They won 10 straight games at one point last year. It was the longest win streak in USL League One history and eight one goal wins as well in 2023. So they know how to win the close ones and now looking towards goal and moving it out wide. It's Joe Gallardo deflecting in. The perfect start for Union Omaha on the road. Gallardo scores and Omaha leads by a goal to nil. Really good start here for Union Omaha. Just see the real estate on this near side, but it all comes down to the decision making. As you require so So now what will the response be from Western Mass, a team that qualified into this US Open Cup by Finishing 10-3-1 in the USL League's two, League Two's Northeast Division. I'm trying to get something started here tonight, but pretty much the entire game has been played in this half of the field. Norte Norti moves it along, tries to get the response. It's still available here, and a shot taken from distance! Rings off the crossbar! What a hit that was! Right foot, left foot, no problem whatsoever. Already has an assist here tonight. Doesn't need a second invitation. We just see. Here's a touch for Rashid Nuhu. Something else to note, it looks like when well, the wind's whipping around, it's hard to really tell, but it's Western Mass coming forward here. I believe they're attacking into the wind as well right now. It looks like it's kind of swirling around Lusitano Stadium, but that's something that Western Mass needs to use to their advantage here in this first 45 minutes if they do have the wind at their back. Deflected away, it's into the path of Steven Dos Santos. And a big save from Sir Sosimo. One of the top goal scorers in USL championship history is 70 goals to his name in the championship. Coming to League One and still getting it done. Dos Santos at the age of 34. He sets a pick there in the middle and actually the player does go down, but play continues on with Dalabella. Bella's cross looking for Dos Santos. It's steered on target, but the wind really knocking that down. I'd say look at the corner flag, but the corner flag has been knocked down <laughs> by the wind, Ricky. <laughs> and, I, and I do think Dolabella is going to be a very interesting piece for Union Omaha. 
in the 2024 season, the ability just to play different positions. We saw him play a lot higher in their opening game. Now he's playing out that double pivot next to Nordy. Tomas Dubin, the captain, number seven in red. Nine goals and 10 assists over two USL League two seasons with Western Massachusetts. Now coming forward again, it's Perkins going low. It's a nice save. And then it's cleared away. Coda gets it out. A good strike there from Will Perkins. And a throw and going Western Mass's way. And I mentioned it earlier, just a weak side that's been hurting teams all open cup in this first round. Whether it's a winger, that's a handball there. Whether it's a winger, this one. whether it's a fullback, this time it's Perkins. Low and hard to that far post. It'll take nothing away from the save from Sarasomo. It's an outside back. If you can provide the outlet and the technical ability just to test the goalkeeper. But if you're Gallardo, you just get caught flat-footed. Give credit to Coda. First to react, he gets rid of any danger. Comes in fields. Gomez lays it back. Norte Norti deflected and into the arms of Gianluca Sersosimo. Coming off six clean sheets over 15 appearances in 2023 with Western Mass, the Argentine shot stopper. Omaha all over the Pioneers to start. Not a whole lot going forward as Schlingman's taken off the ball here. The German. Gallardo is ready, puts it in a good area, punched away by Sir Sosimo. Rodriguez couldn't get the shot away, but there's another attempt. Looked like Malone got onto that one. Another save for Gianluca Sir Sosimo. Exactly what I'm talking about. Secure and confident goalkeeping. Here's Malone for Omaha. And the referee brings this first half to a close. And if Union Omaha can hold on, they are the ones now with the wind at their backs. And Union Omaha just trying to close this one out as we get this second 45 minutes underway. And a bad giveaway, it's right in front. Sir Sosimo, a big save. Another chance, blocked down. Gomez was clearing on goal, and another really costly mistake there by Western Mass, but now they might have a chance to break the other way. It's the captain who's playing it in his space down the right. Gallardo sends it in, the heads go up, and the header looping out of play. Another misplaced pass from the back. Awashi nearly winning it back. Norte Norte now. Perkins. Shot from distance, dipping towards goal. And there's Sir Sosimo once again. Everyone wants the ball to feet. No one's threatening in behind or running and stretching this Union Omaha side. All the support players are about five to 10 yards away from each other and there's no way you're gonna break down this Omaha defensive structure with everyone being in the same area of the pitch. A 
That's why we start to see all these turnovers. Makes life very easy for you in Omaha to press and also to counter press. Dolabella going for goal, bouncing, and it's taken in once again by Sir Sosimo. Here's Malone. Omaha working it around. Dominic Casciato talked about preseason this year and said last year, a team that went undefeated through the preseason, he said he wanted to go into this year to make it a little bit harder mentally. I think this is mentally a tough challenge coming all the way on the road. Now the cross coming in. It's bobbled in front. Dos Santos pops it up and over. Good things happen when you whip the ball into a dangerous area. Gallardo, the technical ability that we've seen, and a little bit of spillage here from Cesarsimo. Dos Santos falls kindly like a plum for him, unable to get his body over around it. Goes up and over the crossbar. Dolabella. to switch the point of attack. The flag stays down. There were appeals for offside. Perkins lets Norti come and take it. Norte, Norti into the middle. Comes all the way through. Maybe a chance for Gallardo again. And in the outside side netting. So close to a second for Joe Gallardo. Really good composure in the final third here for Union Omaha. Taking it nice and easy, just like shopping at the Goodwill. Really good move from Gallardo, a little drop of the shoulder. Tries to squeak it into that near post. Sir Sosimo does very well to cover, give no angle whatsoever. <laughs> Omaha still controlling things here. Really no threat has been posed for much of this night by Western Mass. You wonder how much the conditions have really played into things here. That's why getting that early goal from Union Omaha, so important. We saw last night a goal just before halftime for Greenville. That's the only goal they needed against South Carolina United FC Bantams. Another foul and a free kick going Union Omaha's way. All the way over the top. Dolabella into the path of Dos Santos. Dos Santos scores. Putting the hammer down for Union Omaha. And the Owls lead by two goals to nil. That might cement their spot in the second round. And Dos Santos has been hanging on that top line, just looking for acorns to pop up all over the field. Give credit to Dolabella to keep this thing alive in the composure. Just watch the body movement to put himself between him and his individual marker. There's Cut this in fields. Knapp moves it farther out wide. 
Gallardo asking for it, although Omaha fine to take this methodically. Long over the top, Gallardo keeps himself on side. Gallardo scores! Out of a different galaxy tonight is Joe Gallardo. It's three goals to nil for Union Omaha, and surely now into the second round. We talk about the width provided by the wide areas for Dominic Casciato. Bottom of your screen, Gallardo in a galaxy all, all alone. You have a center back that has the ability to break lines with his passing range, but you have to feel for Calvo. We talked about the sniper earlier today, catches him too, and Gallardo makes no mistake about the finish. The it doesn't look like they're done. Steven Dos Santos out wide for Almesh. The cross back for Dos Santos, and it's steered wide. Great interplay between the substitute just came on and Dos Santos, who already has a goal for himself. A foul in the middle. This is a team still looking for their... Gallardo, you know he wants a third. Joe Gallardo in for Steven Dos Santos. And Gallardo is still down, a good save by Sir Sosimo. Broken up in the middle, and all the way back to Sir Sosimo. Final four minutes. to get another sub here. And this is a cool moment for Mark Bronick, the Brooklyn, New York native, former New York Red Bull Academy product, former Barca residency player, signed to a USL Academy contract this year. And the youngster will come on to replace Steven Dos Santos as Mark Bronick takes the field for Union Omaha. As you would know, Omaha, a pretty good soccer city in the middle of the United States. And there's been a couple of youngsters that have come through in the Omaha Academy ranks and another USL Academy product coming out in the field now for the Owls. Jerome and Master Antonio knew who. Very professional performance tonight put in by Union Omaha. Now trying to turn this upfield. Bronick. For Gallardo, Almesh is in the middle. Gallardo will take it himself. That's the hat trick. Joe Gallardo, a US Open Cup hat trick. Four goals to nil for Union Omaha. Give credit to Bronick. Watch the body position, head up the whole way, and the timing places into the path of Gallardo. And then your special player, Dr. Dominic Casciato, said we needed him to have a big year. Also, you can check a lot of boxes here for Union Omaha tonight. And that is the final whistle. No doubts about this one. A goal all the way in the fourth minute. A Joe Gallardo hat trick mixed in with Steven Dos Santos. 